I say that to say it shows me it, the influence Drake had on on Future's music and mm. the impact that he that he played when he started to work with Drake. Okay. So like in my eyes, I'm like, bro, I never liked Future until he started ganging up with uh with Drake. The same thing, and and I know niggas in the hood gonna hate me for this, but the same thing with Lil Durk. I wasn't really a big fan of Dirk until he started making music with uh with Drake. The same thing with Twenty One Savage. I wasn't the biggest Twenty One Savage fan <laughs> until he started making music with Drake. Listen, I'm happy that you're honest, bro. But you listen, I'm, I'm happy. Big old. Yeah, bro, you don't even understand. All right, so look. Yo, this video is sponsored by Los Hermanos, and it's crazy because I always wanted to have a uh, tequila sponsorship. So shout out to my guys over at Los Hermanos for taking a shot with me, doing this partnership thing. I really appreciate it. Listen, I like it so much, I might just be worse than uh, Rick Ross, bro. So if you see me on the gram, posting it all over my story and my gram, don't say nothing. Just go ahead and buy a bottle. I got it by the case. So look, we got the Blanco. We also got the Repo. And you know, my favorite is in Yeho, right? We got it on the way, you know. Like I said, we got it by the case, man. So listen, if you in Delaware, you in Georgia, you in Maryland, you in New York, you in Jersey, make sure you go to the nearest liquor store and ask for some Los Hermanos. Hey, my guys. All right, man. What's up, man? How you feeling? What's up, dog? I feel great. How you feeling? Long time no see. I ever told you I hate the way that you dress? For real? No, I'm playing. Damn, I'm not saying. <laughs> With you. Yeah, man. How you feeling, bro? I feel good, man. I feel, I feel, I actually feel really good. One of the reasons why I feel really good is because I told you I wanted to get back on my shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and I had been um kind of de not debating, but like struggling with can I do this shit without like a big company backing me? Can like, you know what I mean? Are people gonna be receptive to my words? Are people gonna shit like what I say? Are people gonna hate what I say? Am I gonna get any engagement? And like I put out the first episode of, you know, I'll do it myself and I put out a few clips and the shit's been doing very well. So I've been, I just been happy that I got that shit off my chest. I'm about to start dropping the out the box content with me and my son, the out the box content with me by myself. And I just want to be more prevalent, bro. I got like this goal by December 31st of 2024, like I'm going to be in a different stratosphere as far as immediate personality. So I'm just working towards that. You feel me? No, facts. No, I mean, I've seen it. I I told you from the beginning, like yeah, that no, independent, fact, like that's that's the wave. Like yeah. niggas fuck with niggas rock with you, not the brands. Like of course they they mess with the big companies, but yeah, I just think you. that sometimes like the big companies, like while a lot of people aspire to be with a big company, they don't, they might not necessarily know how to like um, articulate or push what you want to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I think like artists go through the same shit, right? Like you get artists say, oh, don't sign. Once you sign, they start fucking your shit up. I think it's more predicated on your team, but I've been building like a good team. I got to shout you out, bro. You helped me tremendously mm -hmm. when it came to getting my gear and you know what I mean? Just teaching me the tricks of the trade and showing me different things. So it's like, I'm just grateful that I got a, like a community of people behind the scenes that helped me get the way I want to go. Feel me? No, no facts. Yeah. What, um, I guess, what you, what you think is the... How you feeling it? Because it, it is kind of new, and then you're doing it by yourself. Yeah. Like, how you feeling the feedback? Because I seen you got crazy feedback. Yeah, I mean, bro, like, like, honestly, man, I think that, like, so many people just got it twisted. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I ain't going to front. I purposely held on to the clips mm -hmm. that me and you did at the Kendrick shit until after it was done. You feel me? Because I just had my own take on how it was going to be finished. But I felt like, you know, so many people, I tried to, not try to, I did call, like, this whole battle and shit, like, down the middle. Because... Just because, like, I'm a, like, I like Drake. I mean, I like, I do like Drake, but I like Kendrick a lot. Don't mean that I hate Drake. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like, I love Drake music ever since the nigga first started. So, you know, when you try to call something down the middle, and all I said was that it was just one thing I didn't like, and it got turned into, I'm a dick rider, all types of disrespectful banter. And don't get me wrong, like, I get why people do it, because it's easy to throw a rock for at a person that you can't see or touch. Mm. And I understand that, but it's like, shit, it's engagement, you feel me? Like, I'm I'm, I'm not a person that's, do, I don't do nothing for no clicks. Anything I do, I'm saying how I actually feel. Right. And it's a lot of people that respected that, but at the same time, bro, it was like, I got so much flack for people telling me that I hate the West Coast, I hate Kendra. I'm like, what? What? Like, do, do has niggas watched anything I've ever done? Just because you say you don't agree with something doesn't mean that you hate something else. You feel me? So that goes into my point of the clip you just posted. Okay, let's talk about <laughs> it. I'm just saying, like, I feel like I don't know where this came from. I didn't know that 
Kendrick had this cult following like this. Well, I, I, I found out when we started posting the clips. Yeah. But I should have known that because in my mind, what I was saying was he was overrated because of so many people liked him. But I, did, I didn't know it was like this. Well, I think, bro, let me tell you something. Because I didn't know it was like this either, right? I consider myself a Kendrick fan, right? But what I after this, and I said this on I'll Do It Myself, you know what I mean, episode two, I said like, after assessment of this whole week or two week span and everything, I found out that I'm not a core member of anybody's fan base. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm not a core member because the core members don't care to be objective at all. The core members can't say, oh, nah, Drake said some fire shit. They can't say it at all. They could just like spew, yo, fuck that nigga. Mm-hmm. The nigga like, bro, I don't believe like, and, and that's another thing. My, my guy who edited my clips, I think he might have purposely left out me addressing the child molester because I don't I don't believe that he molested a child. Like it's one thing to say somebody dated a girl that was a little bit younger, that was you know of age, but she was younger than you. Mm-hmm. In, in in comparison to say somebody is a child pedophile, yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's two totally that's, different that's, that's worlds. And the thing was, it was like when it came to you know, because I also didn't believe that uh, what Drake was saying about Kendrick was true. I didn't believe that this nigga was beating on his girl. Or he was, um, you know, not prevalent in his children's lives. Same way that I don't believe that Drake is not prevalent in his son's life. Like, nobody, like, Drake, I think it was cool to say in a song, but I don't believe, and this is my own personal belief. I could be wrong too, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't believe that Drake doesn't tell his son not to pray and give him morals and value. But I think it was clever for Kendrick to poke at those things because... And that's what I'm saying, man. It, on contrary, it it was no it was no contrast. It was only one sided in a lot of things. And when I tried to call shit down the middle, it was like, no, nah, nigga, you a hater, you a Kendrick. Hater. I'm like me, like yo, bro. For everything me and you went back and forth with me, like yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. So it just showed me that I don't even fit in with the group that is the one strongly on that side. And, and you know, it's funny, man. I think that's what I was trying to say when I was saying he was overrated because before then, before now. Yeah, still kind of feel like that. I just feel like, bro, the dude don't drop as often as my favorite rapper drops, okay. which is Drake, right? Okay, even I got when, something in contrary to that. Even when Wayne was the hottest at the time, mm-hmm. he don't drop nowhere near that. The mm-hmm. uh, only time I hear him mm-hmm. is when is something controversy going on, right? Like, I mean, I don't. Again, I'm not the biggest fan, so I don't remember Good Kid, Mad City when that dropped. I just remember I know when um to Pimp a Butterfly dropped. It was like in the middle of like this this big. Black African American movement when like George Floyd just got killed not too like nah that was twenty twenty that was twenty twenty yeah to uh to Pimp a Butterfly drop twenty fifteen it was when okay. um it was when Mike Brown Mike passed, Brown right Mike, Mike Brown in St Louis I think it was St Louis when the cop had shot him okay and you know J Cole had dropped Be Free it was around the same time when Forest Hills Drives came out like Forest Hills Drives was the end of twenty twenty four I mean twenty fourteen yeah. Um, to pimp a butterfly was like I think it was 2015. Like you know okay. what I mean? It was like so yeah. So like again, I just I vaguely remember these because I'm not a fan of them like that. Yeah. So I just remember every time I hear them, it's like something going on. So it's like, but but all right, cool. So and and this is the point that I always made to you, right? Like if we're gonna have a not necessarily just a back and forth, not just a shouting match, right? Mm-hmm. But if we're gonna have a debate, mm-hmm. and you're gonna say your side, and I'm gonna say my side. Even for, like, I I may not be considered the same level of Drake fan that you are, but I know every year he dropped the album. Yeah, you feel me? So it's like, um, Kendrick is way m- much more than just a controversial figure when it comes to rap music. Um, Kendrick is a superstar. I'm gonna say that again. I can see that clearly. Kendrick Lamar <laughs> is a superstar. I was just having this conversation with somebody um, in, just in the comments right quick. Cause, and the reason why I'm jumping in the comments is because I like to engage. So don't think I'm just like, I ain't got, this nigga ain't got nothing to do. Nah, I love the fact that I get to talk directly with people mm-hmm. and I get to also provide content for these motherfuckers. So I asked somebody, I said, yo, he said, um, I would take, uh, damn, what this nigga said? He said, I would take success over skill any day. And I was like, are we saying that Kendrick, is not successful, you know what I mean? And he was like, no, he kind of like backtracked. But what I was trying, I said, bro, nobody's gonna tell me that a nigga who's had it, rap careers used to be a minimum of like six years. Mm. Now it's like two years. It's a lot of niggas you could think about what happened to him or her two years ago. Had a big song with it. They out of here. Kendrick has been here for about fifteen years. You know what I'm saying about a good strong fifteen, and. 
just just get to the albums. Good Kid, Mad City, because we talked about frequency. Real quick. Mm -hmm. Good Kid, Mad City, To Pimp a Butterfly, Damn, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. I mean, some people want to throw entitled in there. I don't necessarily throw it necessarily throw it in there as an album, but let's just say it is. You would throw in the first one. What was it like? No, it's Section Eighty. Section Eighty. Section Eighty. To me, it's that is an album, but it was like before he got the before he was on Aftermath and yeah. all that other shit, right? Now you he might not drop as now he might not drop two times a year a tape with this nigga a tape with that nigga be on be you know at the BET Awards at the Grammy he don't do all of that but accuracy Good Kid, Mad City to Pimple Butterfly and Damn might be one of the best three album runs comparable to a DMX is dark and hell is hot flesh of my flesh blood of my blood and I am I am X. You know what I'm saying? It might be comparable to, let's just say 50 Cent, uh, Get Rich or Die Trying, The Massacre. You know what I'm saying? Now, impact is one thing, but I'm talking about consistency. Okay. Consistency across the board. Now, much as I do love Drake's music, I mean, much as I, much as I do love Drake's music, you could give a take and say, all right, well, you got, uh, see, comeback season the first time I ever heard it. Then you got, uh, so far gone. Mm -hmm. Then you got Thank Me Later. Then you got, um, what's the second album after Thank Me Later? Wait, Take Care didn't come? Take after? Care, no, Take Care was after. That's the, Yeah, Take Care is after Thank Me Later. Okay. Then you got, now look, I'm not going to lie. Thank Me Later, to me, is, is good, but I think that at that time, because I bought the CD. That's how long Drake has been in this shit. I bought the CD. At that time, I don't. for a lot of people, it didn't live up to the expectations of So Far Gone. So far gone is Thank Me Later. Uh Thank Me Later. The right. first official album. Yeah. Now I'm not gonna lie. Even Thank Me Later, even if it didn't live up to the same expectations everybody had for so far gone, Thank Me Later, um, Take Care, and Nothing Was the Same is crazy for your first three. So both of these niggas is definitely superstars. Undisputable. One is more popular than the other. One is more prevalent in the space than the other. Visible all the time, da, da da. But we, I can never. Nobody can never question. Now, if you don't, if you don't fuck with his music, that's one thing. But we cannot question the consistency. For sure. But again, I guess we're talking about what makes me think he's overrated. I'm just saying, like, for me not to like his music like that, yeah. right? Again, sometimes, and I said this before, and people killed me for it. And before I even go into this, because I got another clip, I'm gonna post to you. What, yeah, what yeah. I like about what I do, what what what. What these conversations make me appreciate mm -hmm. is a fan of rap. So when you came up here and you was like, man, I'm not, I'm not, I'm clearly not a fan of Kendrick like I thought, or amongst the fans of Kendrick. No, like, I said you wasn't pretty much a fan of no, anything. No, no, when you said, you just said you are not a fan of Kendrick, like you're not a part of Oh, the part of the core. Yeah, the See, core. See, it's a difference between, it, it, it's a difference between being a, and I want you to finish your thought. It's a difference between being like a fan of something, because a fanatic is short for, a fan is short for fanatic, mm -hmm. but I'm talking about like people is like, bro, I'm talking about the thick. Think about how much I could tell you about Kendrick Lamar. Mm -hmm. I didn't seen this nigga at his first shows in New York ever when fucking TDE and ASAP uh, Mob and Pro Era. I'm like, it, that that time, the blog era in New York was amazing. I was at them shows. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I hosted a few of them. For me to just say, I, I, don't, I don't fuck with Meet the Grams. Like, you know what I mean? I, to me, it wasn't the best moment in the battle. And then people say... Oh nigga, you you on over your payroll. You sucking Drake. Damn, mm -hmm. nigga, I'm you. Wow, like word. So and and, and no, I get that because I, I I feel that. And what I was gonna say is, if you could say that about like Kendrick, then these conversations make me appreciate the hip hop fans because mm. because I want to paint a picture. Because like, yeah, you might not be a fan of of Kendrick, but you clearly are a fan of hip hop. Yeah, you get what I'm trying to say. And, yeah. And yeah. you could tell. And I mean, you've been in here for, for years, way, yeah. more, way much longer than I have. So it made me think like, okay, I can understand the criticism, how people take in his heart. Because I'm like, y'all niggas is like, how people coming at you about Kendrick, yeah. it's how people come at me about hip hop. And I'm like, damn, like y'all niggas love this shit like well, that. Well, you got to wait. And I told you this before, and I said this behind the scenes, but I'm going to say it on, on, on camera now, bro. When it's one thing, and I'm 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 gonna give you your flowers because I think that you're really really good at what you do. Mm. I think you're really really good at what you do. I think that you're on a cusp of not only um, when it comes to 
just hip hop commentary, but like what you doing with fitness, what mm -hmm. you doing with family, like you just got like a, a, a view for yourself. You got a you got a target, and you've been hitting that motherfucker. No, you feel me? It. Um, when it comes to talking about this rap shit, this hip hop shit, bro, you cannot get <laughs> on this. You can't get on no camera. When I say like, bro, when we had that future conversation, my nigga, because let me tell you something. Even when it come down to future, bro, you said some wild shit when it come to future, bro. If, I did. If future, that, now listen, even with that being said, future is one of the greatest, bro. And it's going to be niggas that say to me, how could you ever call future one of the greatest? And I'm not basing it off of sales, but I'm basing it off of music, consistency. And then when you look at impact, when you look at the game overall, how much sun, how many sons future got, bro. One of the best ever. So so all I'm going to say is, mm -hmm. and I'm going to just live in what I was saying because I watched it and I, like you said, I let things unfold and I still stand on a lot of things I was saying. And that's but, fine. Look, <laughs> that, look, 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 bro, that's fine. Because, I, but, I, but, but for me not to be a fan of this sport yet, right? Not to have the time that these hip hop commentators- I want to say not a fan because you're a fan, yeah. but you're not, you're not as ingrained with the- Information. So for me That's not two to different be things. as ingrained with the information as all of these hip hop fanatics and hip hop like I don't know speakers have. I listen to my takes and I was saying a lot of things that been people been saying like the biggest people like are saying like wait, wait, like what? Uh, Drake. I got a way of saying it that was crazy, but same thing. I said Drake made uh Rick Ross right. Yeah, that was crazy. So so hold up. That was crazy. So hold up. Same thing. What Drake say on his on 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 the track? He said, no, it, of course Drake is. Of course he's gonna say that, so, bro. It's a diss record. It's so meant cool. to diss so, people. So, so that just gave me confirmation that I wasn't like tripping. Nah, you're no, you're absolutely tripping. I'm gonna. All right, look. Let, let me let's so let's, let's break tripping, it down. Let's, so, let's, so, let's, all right, so let me let me let's say, break when I say it down tripping, real quick. When I say tripping, right? Just because you on the same page as the nigga that you right. That so, don't when, mean, so when I say tripping, my mind yeah. I'm thinking like you just totally left field. Yeah. If I was totally left field, nope. It's clearly other people who think that. Yeah, but but they're tripping too. So oh, okay, so let, okay, no, okay. For real, <laughs> let, let's just keep it. No, let's. I'm gonna call a spade a spade, bro. Rick Ross, before we heard hustling, bro, this nigga was writing for Trina. He was on features with Trina. This nigga grinded his way up. When we first heard hustling, and it was a big record, right? Mm -hmm. Even when we heard Maybach music, Drake still wasn't a thing. When you if you go to Port of Miami, then you go to Trilla. Even fucking deeper than rap, Drake still was not a thing. Drake was not a thing. By 2009, that was a thing. These records I just talked about was 06, 07, and 08. That's consistency. By that time, Drake had already, I mean, Rick Ross had already had features with Nas, Jay-Z, Nelly. You know what I'm saying? Hit records on every album. He was in the middle of a beef with 50 Cent. With Now, antics, yes. If people want to count antics, 51 at war. Battle-wise, bars, Ross spanked him. Mm. Now, Drake becomes a th Drake comes out. Now he was dropping shit, but he became a thing in 2009. Oh, yeah. Then 2010, he's running it, right? Then we start getting records with Drake. This nigga had a career way before we even knew Drake existed. So, so now look, yes, Drake's records, every every song, every song you ever heard this nigga on that wasn't his. Help the person. I never disputed that. And that's all I was saying. But that does not, but you said he made him. Yeah, that might have been an exaggeration. No, no, that's, no, no, no. It's not <laughs> just an exaggeration, my nigga. That is left field. That's left field. You said the same thing about Future. And he's helped Future. So and I was, Drake, so again, and Future I has be, helped Drake. So I might have been exact. Okay. And I've Future been, has helped Drake. We're not sure. going to say that. We're not going to say that. We're not going to say that. We're not going to say that. Future that nigga, bro. I might have been exaggerating. But I mean, it's it's fun and games for six and giggles. It like, is. So, I, yeah, so, yeah. so when I say like, yo, Drake had a big impact on Rick Ross' career, I think that's true. Drake had a big impact <sighs> a big, on future on future career, and I think that's true. A big impact. I mean, you, it, yeah. Let I, me tell you this. They, they so, done, so, they so, done. so as a you I'm are for. again, mm -hmm. you are like a, a hip hop specialist, so to say, right? Uh, you, so, you can, people say that, and, and and I think I like to say when I say I speak for the people, I think I speak for like the consumer, somebody that's not ingrained in it as you. All right. Outside of Atlanta, All right, I'm gonna tell you. Who I, I'm gonna tell you who, who who I speak for after you, you finish. You speak for the hip hop here. No, I don't sure. only speak for hip hop. Go ahead. So I feel like Future, right? From me, mm -hmm. from a consumer, I think like, of course, down south, Future had his his hand on the game, especially when you talk about Dirty Sprite, right? I wasn't a big fan of Dirty Sprite, and when Dirty Sprite Two came out, it made me like 
it, it kind of made me like, wow, like I, how can this guy make the same? How can this guy that made Dirty Sprite 1 make Dirty Sprite 2? That's how it was for me. It was so different for me. And around Dirty Sprite 2 was the same. It was around the same time, if I'm not mistaken, when he dropped the uh, the project with Drake. Am I not? If I, if I'm, if I'm, it was 2015. So that when right Simon there. When Simon Bay Alive was 2015. But a lot of a lot of future projects came out around that time. Uh, and Monster Dirty Sprite was, 2 came out what? 2015? Yeah. So, so um, Monster came out uh, 2014. Um, But see, this is why I got to, bro. Th this is why. I, all right. Let me tell you who Let I, me finish my Go point. ahead. Go ahead. Finish. So I say that to say it shows me it, the in influence Drake had on on Future's music and mm. the impact that he that he played when he started to work with Drake. Okay. So like in my eyes, I'm like, bro, I never liked Future until he started ganging up with uh with Drake. The same thing, and, and I know niggas in the hood gonna hate me for this, but the same thing with Lil Dirk. I wasn't really a big fan of Dirk until he started making music with uh with Drake. The same thing with 21 Savage. I wasn't the biggest 21 Savage fan <laughs> until he started making music with Drake. Listen, I'm happy that you're honest, bro, but you, listen. I'm, I'm happy. Digging home. Yeah, bro, you don't even understand. All right, so look. You you finished? Yeah, go ahead. Go all right, ahead. let me tell. Right, I'm gonna tell you what I speak for. I'm a block nigga, bro. Regardless to anybody who think, oh, Wayno, you corporate, you this, you that, you the third. I'm from 119th and Lexington Avenue, mm. 1900 to be exact. Zip code 10035. That's why I learned how to be a man. I'm a, I'm a block nigga. So regardless to if you might catch me in in Whole Foods, or you might catch me at Costco, a Target. Or you might see me in Trader in, Joe's. Trader Joe's. That's my <laughs> fucking spot, bro. Trader Joe's my spot. Recognize that regardless of how far I come, I'm a black nigga. Now, let me tell you what I mean by that. When I say I speak for, you say I speak for the hip hop heads. Mm -hmm. The hip hop heads. They are them. Wait a second. Them that term, them hip hop heads, they don't fuck with future. They don't fuck with future. They don't fuck with Future. They think Future's trash. They think Future can't hold a candle to certain people. They think Future is everything that's been wrong with hip-hop. Now, when you said he was popping down here, I got to beg to differ. Because I'm a block nigga. And I'm from I'm from 19th and Lex. Even though I, 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 lived, I lived in Harlem River Projects on the 7th Ave side and on 8th Ave side. And I spent a lot of time around, you know, living near the polo grounds, all that type shit. Neither here nor there. But what I mean by that, bro, is this. Future make music for niggas who are um, getting to the bag, but still going through the struggle. Where my twin at? Where my twin at? I gotta keep saying that song. The reason why "Where my twin at" is such a a hard a hard record for me, because when because when he said "Where my twin at," he in the courtroom, right? One of my best friends just took a crazy plea deal. Free my brother. Feel me? And when I heard where my twin at, regardless of how much records Future, because Future didn't fucking, he didn't impacted the streets. He didn't impacted the pop world. He didn't, he wrote Drunk in Love for fucking Beyonce, bro. That nigga still made where my twin at. So when I listen to, when I hear what you saying and you said, now, Drake, you know what I mean? That's when I started getting on to him. Bro, Future did, a, and Kendrick alluded to that. When it was time for Drake. Now, listen, Drake had the, he, he always got the chicks. He had the chicks since day one. Still got them. But when it was time to get that street edge, nigga had to do a whole tape with, with, with Pluto. You feel me? Um, And I feel like as much as Drake, yeah, because his celebrity did help Pluto out, Pluto gave him that cosign that niggas, where he could start talking differently. Mm -hmm. If you go at, if you listen to Drake's music, now I think um uh Drake has always alluded to like, you know, I wouldn't say not not necessarily street shit early on, but he had little instances where he talked some type of tough street bravado. Every rapper does it. Yeah. Every every rapper does it. Even battle rap, everybody does it, right? But when he got with Future, it went to another level. You feel me? Now when he started working with Savage, you know what I mean? Went to another level. That co-sign from Atlanta. That cosign from the streets helped him tremendously. And if you look at each iteration of each year when he's presenting himself, it changed him a bit. Start dressing different. Even now to Yachty. You know what I mean? I'm not going to act like Yachty ain't, you know what I mean, putting the work in. Even now to Yachty, his influence with him. And I think it, it, it cross-pollinates. because, it, And I'll say this too. It was the same with... J.D. Kiss and Beanie Siegel and them um, state property and D-blocking them. Sure, like even I've heard 
because you would know this more than me, but like Drake career seems, I can't say that. It seems like similar to like what, what people accuse Jay-Z of doing. It seems similar. Like when Jay-Z came on, yeah. he started making music with uh niggas down south, Bum B. Niggas ain't like that. Niggas say some people mm, I've he heard didn't start some, doing that. I like you he say, didn't he didn't that wasn't until his fourth album. Well, not in a but I'm saying like these are Critic critiques that yeah, I, heard I mean people, people call Jay, he, but there was a whole thing. You're not a biter, you're a writer, and yeah, all of then, that then shit. Then people say he stole uh, niggas from state property uh, flow. Like, yeah, niggas from Philly. So yeah. I, like I've heard this, mm -hmm. and it's similar to to Drake. And I feel like I mean their paths it seems linear in, in that in that perspective. I mean naturally, bro. It's like even with me, once me and you started kicking it, we started recording and shit together. You more conscious of your pauses. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So anybody. Is going like anybody that's around each other, you naturally gonna rub off on another pause. You feel me? That was crazy. <laughs> that was wow. That was I paused it though. See, damn. But um, you you naturally gonna like take things. You feel me? Like the thing with the whole and I was there for the Jay Z state property era. You know what I'm saying? Like Young Chris was the young Young Guns. They were you know shouts out to my brothers the Young Guns. You know they just had the twenty fifth the twentieth anniversary um of their album Tough Love. You know what I mean? That impacted a lot of people. Everywhere, and I was a part of that album. Ryan Press, Chad, Chad West, you know what I mean? No better love, man. 20 years. Think about that record. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when when he, when he you got to think, Jay from Brooklyn, when he got around state property, he even said on a song, Big, you had the mafia. Me, I got the property. Got a lot of these fake families out here copying. You feel me? Like, he was influenced by them, and it, it, it worked both ways. They got from him, he got from them. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to, like, take nothing away from, from Drake because he got around certain niggas and made certain type of music, you feel me? It did wonders for Metro Boomin produced that whole album, bro. I was talking to Metro Boomin. Shout out to Metro Boomin. I was talking to Metro Boomin before he moved to Atlanta. He's from St. Louis. Mm -hmm. When I started, we was, was talking over Twitter. You feel me? So that helped. It Drake has helped a lot of people in a lot of different ways, but it's not one way. That's why I just be trying to get you to understand the way that he has helped. You got to say the same thing for Future. Yeah. You got to say the same thing for the Migos. You got to say... It's so much heavy that. lifting in this hip-hop shit. You feel I me? I ain't mad at that. I respect that. I, mm. ain't, I ain't mad at that. And I think um, for me, I'm not like a hip-hop purist, but now that I hear you say it, I didn't like a lot of these new age niggas. Like, I was like stuck in my ways. I didn't like the Migos. Mm -hmm. I didn't like 21 Savage. I didn't like Future. And, I, and, and now that you were saying it, I think about you it. You never heard like, Red Ops before? Nah. I never liked... Bro, but I never liked none of them. Like, I, right. I came up... Like in Fifty Cent, like I like Drake because yeah, I like I mean, Lil Wayne, yeah. right? Like I remember, I still like. Cause Did you I'm, like Tiger? I didn't like Tiger. Well, I don't like Tiger though. No. But I like Tiger uh, makes some records, man. Like, I, I, I like. like uh, I forgot the other guy he got. Um, but whatever. I because I, 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 I still remember listening listen to listening to Ransom in my car when it first came out, and I'm like, who is this nigga? Yeah. Like this nigga really keeping up with Wayne. Yeah, like I yeah. remember those yeah, times. Yeah. And so like now that I'm thinking about it, again, I'm not saying that I'm not taking away from these their career. I can understand who yeah. they are, what they do. It's just perfect example. This yeah. is and I know you're gonna appreciate this. Got you love Max B, right? I wouldn't say love. No, I, I like New him. York nigga, you know? Nah, I, I I like Max B. I wouldn't say I love him. Like, but I, so, I, I like Max. That, that's not taking nothing away from okay, him. Okay, no, no. What fair. he means to people, I don't love Max B. So, I like him though. When I was coming up and I was talking to my homies from New York, mm -hmm. they would be like Max B, mm -hmm. and I'm like who? Mm -hmm. And I would be like Boosie, mm -hmm. and they would be like who? I love Boosie and, though, but that's my style. Like I feel like I said it to say like that's my style. Like Max B was like a fly nigga talking yeah. all that like. I it, like Boosie. But it, it I like depends, Gotti. I like it, it, it depends on who you're talking Gucci to, too, man. bro. Because Jeezy. listen, it depends on who you're talking to, too, because certain motherfuckers is just regional and they because they're stuck where they are, they won't listen to nothing from nowhere else. See, for me, bro, when I was 13, my man Mel, I would never forget my man Mel coming to the block with Master P Ghetto Dope. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Master P. Yo, Wayne, you heard uh, Master P Ghetto Dope? No. He played that shit. He went, we went to my crib. We put the tape in the tape deck. We played that shit. Nigga, I went to the store and bought that shit. And then every week after that, I bought C Murder, C Murder albums. You know what I mean? Life, Life of Death. I brought Mystical. I, I was on, I was No Limit Out. Crazy. Mm -hmm. The reason why I got a, a relationship with, with, with Stunner, with Birdman to this day is because when I interviewed Stunner, bro, the night before I knew I was interviewing Birdman, my, my mindset was only, I want to talk about I got that work. I don't give a fuck about what Act want to say. I don't give a fuck about what the desk I want to say. I want to talk about I Got That Work. That's my fucking favorite album from Stunner. Mm. So for me, like you said, Boosie, 
Bro, I used to have I'm a dog on my MySpace page, mm. Babusi. You feel me? Mm. I was in a nigga like, bro, I just posted uh two or three weeks ago, and this is was a part of my whole rollout into my show. Classic albums. Cause people only want to talk about reasonable doubt or Illmatic or fucking um Mob Deep the Infamous or the Purple Tape. What about um Food and Liquor by Lupe Fiasco? What about the cool by Lupe Fiasco? I'm saying Albums that he doesn't know, y'all. You see how he's yeah. looking up in the air. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But no, for real. Like, it. what about these projects? What about, you know what I mean? The Truth by Beanie Siegel. Like, it's so many projects that people don't talk about. I even go on to say La Bella Mafia by Little Kim. That's a classic album, man. It's so many other classic albums. Pain is Love by Ja Rule. You feel what me? Makes, what makes a classic? What makes a classic is this. What's the criteria? My criteria for a classic album, right? Because I don't believe in the whole, yo, you don't have to skip nothing. It's, it's 16 different songs. It's 16 different feelings. Certain days, I don't want to hear that shit. So I don't believe in the whole, you can't skip nothing thing. Yo, if you, could, if you could skip a song, that means it's not classic. No. Classic to me is what stands the test of time. If you can put a project on, right? Mm -hmm. And it, it don't have to be, bro, it, it don't have to be from like the most critically acclaimed name. It could be from, for me, fucking Future Love Drug Sounds by Dom Kennedy. You might not know that. Future Love Drug Sounds by um, Dom Kennedy, classic mixtape. Because I could put that shit on and I could remember exactly where I was at, what I was doing, how I felt. And then when the music, when the music is speaking to you and the times that you was in, that's how you know what a but classic you is. Mean, that means you really you, like it. You ask, you ask me what my criteria is. I didn't say oh. for everybody else. What's I, the standard criteria for classics? The standard, so so the standard criteria for classics, what what, what classics, what I think the hypoth not hypothetical, what the general opinion is, is an album that you could put on that you can't skip through. That's what people say. If you could put the album on and you don't skip nothing, but there's tons of albums that fucking miseducation of Lauren Hill. <sighs> Bottleism. Jeez, come on, bro. You feel like, no, no I'm, but this is what I'm saying. The score by the Fugees. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Iron Man by 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 uh Iron Man by uh Ghostface Killer. Life or Death by motherfucking um C Murder. Yo, I I pro like now I'm not speaking on if you could skip because some days, bro, I put on an album and I might listen to one song all day. One song. I don't have to listen to the whole album. I could listen to one song all day. But it, for me, it's about how it impacts and how it impacts culture. So you know do you think, with that last part, because mm -hmm. I was, niggas said I was crazy. What classic does Drake have? Take Care, Nothing Was The Same. And and, and I'll, I'll say Take Care, Nothing Was The Same. Um, If you read in this, it's too late. It's crazy, but that's when, that's the, that's when the writing yeah, yeah. shit came about. That was good. Um, And I also say, uh, what a time to be alive. I said, yo, I said, what a time to be alive was a classic and niggas was like, I forgot who said it to me, but somebody was like, you bugging. I was like, yo, bro, that album, what Metro did sonically on that album, defined what sound was for the next 10 years. Mm. You you go back and listen to that music, it aged very well. Bro, I, you know, it's funny because, I don't know, when I think of Get Rich or Die Trying, mm -hmm. Miseducation of Lauryn Hill, it, it just, even... um. Usher, My Way, or Confessions. Let's mm -hmm. say Confessions. I remember those, like, they created moments. Yeah, yeah. Like, even, like, uh, a Beyonce, um, what was it, the Renaissance? Like, yeah, those were moments where it was, like, yeah. it created things, like, hot sauce in my bag, the cheating allegations with Jake, like, Miss Education. Bro, Lord Teflon Hill. Dawn by Rick Ross, classic album. Deeper Than Rap, classic album. I ain't gonna lie, I might be going out on a whim here. Triller 2. Triller, classic to me. So when I think of these projects, mm -hmm. and I compare them to Drake's projects. But stop comparing them. You don't have to compare. The Listen, feeling. Comparison is the thief of joy. But the feeling, Comparison though. is the thief of but joy. Did you see how you can name those? I didn't even know those. But the f I remember the feeling that Confessions get, like, that feeling. Yeah, but you I also was a kid at that time. So you was, uh, at that time, bro, music consumption was different. A lot of the albums I'm talking about, where iPods, where it was individualized, where like it was only, and I could say that the same for like maybe uh, CD players, right? Mm -hmm. But beyond your CD player, you could turn on the radio and the playlist that was on the radio was jamming. Mm. Think about when Confessions was out, bro. That was 2004, bro. 
I was 21 years old. I can remember the, remember exactly where I was at. I can remember exactly what I was doing, where I was working, what was going on. I remember the first time I heard Throwback. I remember why Throwback was such... Let me tell you about some Rockefeller history. Throwback was such a controversial moment for us and Rockefeller because when Throwback um, came out, right? When Throwback came out, it was 2004. State Property, Chain Gang, Volume 2. Um, the State Property album, Oskino and Sparks featuring Young Chris. I told Young Chris to do the hook on that. We used that sample, Want Me Back, right? That was a year early. Just Blaze didn't have no records on the State Property album, and Jay got on him for that. Mm -hmm. Like, how the fuck they got this album, and y'all you don't have no records on it, right? And then the next year, Usher has Throwback, which was the same sample. Mm -hmm. Now, we all know State Property here. Usher's up there. Right? But it was a, a thing internally. So this is what I'm saying. Music creates timestamps. Cause we're gonna get to what we need to talk about. Yeah. Cause we haven't done that yet. Yeah, let me let me get my door. Right? All right, go ahead. But um, yeah, that's just my definition of classic. But so, uh, yeah. So like um yeah, let's get to what we came to talk about. So look. Let's go there. Just wanna redirect your own words to you. You said, and I quote, <sighs> I believe if there's a battle. Drake is smashing, smashing. Kendrick, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, in the beginning, we was talking through the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And even when, you know, when Push Ups came out and Taylor May came out, you were still smanning, standing on the smashing notions. Yes, sir. Which you was bugging. You know what I'm saying? And I, I say this as a person who I love Push Ups. I think Push Ups was really good. Really good. But smashing? How do you feel now? You got to talk to the people. Make sure you look into the camera. You got to talk to the people and let them know how you feel. I'm going to talk to you because you're a man. I'm going to talk to you. All right. All right. When Push Ups first came out, I think I thought it was really good. I'm not a fan of Euphoria like that. It's a good song. It's a good song. However, I feel like um, I can listen to it in my car, but it depends. Like, I'm not going to lie. I said the same reason I don't like about... No, listen. Same, same reason. My same critiques with uh, Kendrick Lamar, bro. Same critiques. I feel like his words are better in the museum somewhere. Like, it's better on paper. Like, I don't want to listen to it. I feel like he overcomplicates things a lot. And I said this before, right? I hate I hate that this is gonna have to happen in front of his daughter. Oh. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I mean, I hate that I hate that we're gonna have to do this in front of his daughter, but it's all good. So like I was saying, I think um it's cool, mm -hmm. but at times I feel like it gets redundant. I feel like it gets repetitive. And that's not like that's Euphoria? not my yes, that's not my style. It's not my style. Push ups is So push ups is not repetitive? When I talk about the flow, nah, like the it's is 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 subject matter. Maybe subject matter, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about subject matter. I'm talking about the the delivery. So Euphoria was it was it, like if you're reading Euphoria, oh, I'm not gonna lie, it's a better disc. Bro, like, stop it. What? Stop stop it with the if you're reading it. Stop it. Stop it with the whole if you could bump it in your car. We just talking about listening. Just just I, listen. So yeah, listen listening. To the words. It wasn't to me. It wasn't the best listen. Again, it was bro. It was super repetitive. And like I said, How? I feel like it's three different tracks. It's three different tracks. They go from slow to mid to to mid up tempo to high tempo. Mm -hmm. Um, all bars. You know what I mean, all bars. All, all bars. Nothing crazy. Nothing. Nothing crazy about the kids and none of that crazy stuff. Because that's the part of this whole battle that I didn't like. I didn't like yeah, either crazy. one of them coming after one another's family. Like I mean, like that was to me that was the low point of the battle. But if we're talking about Euphoria, bro, Euphoria is the, to me, and I said it, you know, highest level of, of highest sonic level of Kendrick getting that, you know what I mean? Kendrick getting that Drake. Then we get to, you know, Family Matters. You know what I mean? Family Matters is amazing. I think Euphoria is amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, before we get to Family Matters, we get 616 in LA. 616 in LA, right? 616 in LA, to me, I like it because it's 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 a good Kendrick song without the dissing or you know alluding to dissing, mm -hmm. right? Then we go to um, you know, what's that? Meet the Grams. Yeah. No, Family Matters. Then Meet the Grams. Family Matters. I said it. I stand on it. Do I understand it? Absolutely. Do I agree with the, the, the agree with the the angle of like, yo, he made something to his 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 son. 
he aimed the letter. He named the letter at his son, and that that man. That's traumatic. I ain't gonna front. It's a traumatic experience <laughs> because his son gonna have to listen to that one day. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? His son is growing up in the middle of this shit. Which I mean, if that's Kendrick's uh goal and whatever, I, what it is, what it is. Now sonically, to me, it wasn't the best. You feel me? Alchemist beat, cool, good, really, really good beat. Um. Uh, Alchemist beat, really, really good beat, right? Now, we get Family Matters, amazing. I think that shit was amazing, but I'm gonna tell you what Drake's misstep was to me. He shouldn't have packed those three, yeah. them three parts into one. Oh, I was gonna say, I don't, bro. Like you say, you used to talk for the niggas on the block, bro. I'm from the projects, so like, bro, if we beefing, bro, listen, man. When it comes to this beef, the only two who should have been rapping is Kendrick Lamar and Drake. Right? And it's beef. Yeah. So, Drake, you already talked about everybody on... Um, yeah, why direct all yeah, love I don't want to hear that. And, 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 and the crazy thing about it is, some people are saying the second verse was the best one. It that's is. That's the one I didn't like because he's talking verse, about... Nah, that's second when verse is crazy. But that's when he addressing everybody, right? I know, but that shit was still crazy. So, look, like... It was fire, but I just didn't like it. It's like, bro, I don't want to hear this. I personally didn't want to hear it. Well, and I mean, And mm -hmm. I'm going I'm to be straight up, bro. Even though I wasn't a big fan of Euphoria, at the end of the day, it's rap. And it's, and it's a beef. So I can acknowledge that, right? I, I fought a lot. So that's the part I can, I can talk about. So it ain't no cut cards in this. So I was talking to my man, and I'm like, bro, the only way... This is before not like like us, right? Before that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Drake is pretty... He, he He's doing decent with the push-ups. But if I was a rap fan, the only way I see Drake coming out victorious is if he drops some rap and stuff. So when he did Family Matters... It was good, but it still had some type of gimmick nah, family, to it. Nah, it was no gimmick. Family Matters was all rap. It was all rap, bro. It was all rap. He said I, the dropping. first the the first drop shit, drop drop drop. We first of all we got a, a preview of that on push ups. Right. You know what I mean, that was good. Shake that ass for Drake and shake that ass for free. And then he says, "All right, let me take this shit serious. Fact, let me stop fact, playing fact. with y'all." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, y'all niggas a joke anyway, right? Now he goes in. Yo, bro, Family Matters was perfect. My bro. favorite. My favorite verse was the third one. I mean, the, the third verse was was, was hard. <laughs> you go crazy. The beat was hard. Yo, Family right. Matters was great. Yeah. But I'm gonna tell you what the game changer was in all of this. It was not like us. A hundred percent. But the reason why the game and this is and and I'm telling you why you wanna know why because all of the Kendrick core. I mean, not Kendrick core. The Drake core, which I consider you a part of the yeah. Drake core. Y'all don't know that Kendrick can make people dance. He has songs that turn people up. He is a superstar. He does it on every single level. And then when we got to Not Like Us, bro, see, the, the lie is more entertaining than the truth. Neither one of them had facts that they could actually prove, right? There used to be when a rapper said, yo, you ain't on your block. And then they'll pull up, a, pull up to the nigga block. And, they, and and got the camera out there. Look, he ain't out there. Yeah, da, da, da. Yeah. That was the facts. They both made accusations against each other, and they didn't have facts. But Kendrick made it playful when he said, "It's a minor," yeah. and you's a freaky ass freaky nigga. You ass six nigga nine god, freaky ass nigga. Like you got, bro. If you now look when you put those words on paper, take away the music. Those are some crazy things to say. Yeah, but you put the music to it, and you got a jam. So hey. that's what Kendrick execution was good. I think Drake would have had a, a longer lifespan had he broken the three up. Bro, I'm going to keep it on with you, bro. I'm a And real quick, Heart Part 5, I liked it. Even though it was a bow out. Heart pop, pop, Part 6. Part 6, my yeah, fault. Yeah, yeah. Heart Part 6, yes. Even though the Heart Part 6, it felt like a bow out. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It still was dope. The beat was dope. And I still liked how Drake approached it. Now, with that being said, I don't believe this is over. I think that it's over for the direct battle. But if we look at history... You know what I'm saying? If we look at history and you look at Jay-Z and Nas and Ether and Takeover and then Super Ugly and Jay definitively losing to Ether with Super Ugly and then you go to Blueprint 2, excuse me, on the Blueprint 2 album, Jay still gets at Nas. And you go to God's Son album and you go to Last Road Nigga Alive, Nas gave his final thoughts and I know you don't know those songs, but Nas gave his final thoughts. You know what I'm saying? That's your homework to do for the next time we talk. But Nas gave his final thoughts when it came to Jay. And I think we're going to get that from each of them. No, nah, for sure. Because Kendrick about to drop the project. I get that. I'm saying, for, for now, I ain't going to lie. I'm kind of tired. Like, I'm like, thank you Who guys. Who won? Uh, Kendrick, for sure. Okay, and I think, um, but no, I'm not going to lie. Like, because... The same way they got, Kendrick got his fans, Drake got his fans. Yeah. And I, like, I don't, I'm not feeling it. I, I was like, bro, 
you should be able to acknowledge when something is good. Like not like us. No, absolutely. Was good, and I and I hate the core Drake fans that's want to like say it's not good or what Drake Drake dropped was better. And it's like, yeah. bro, he didn't. I think so. Look, bro, I think that like. I think Kendrick won, but I don't think it's as far. I don't think like the way people act like it's a landslide. Oh, it's no, not no, a landslide no. to me. No. Nah. It's not a Somebody landslide say to Drake me. And I, pro- I wouldn't be like Drake did some of the best rapping he's done in a long time. And 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 for the people who don't think of that, they just don't want to hear it. Like, you know what I mean? Some people just mm-hmm. don't want to hear it at all. Like you could you can give an objective take down the down the line. Even though I I love Kendrick, I did not have a pick. I was going, yo, who takes the lead? Who takes the lead? Who takes the lead? I was going for Drake. You know what I mean? Of course you was. You know what I'm saying? I was going for who who takes the lead? Who takes the lead? Who takes the lead? Who takes the lead? And like, even though I do feel like Kendrick won, it wasn't by like so far that it was like, yo, he just got him. Like, because family, bro, I don't think people understand how dope Family Matters was. But no, Family Matters is good. Again, like, I'm, bro, I think I like Drake. I do. I think a part of me, a part of me that's choosing Kendrick Lamar as well is because I wasn't a believer. I'm mm. being straight up. Like, I wasn't. A, I'm not a fan. So for him to drop, a, I stand on what I said. I feel like Kendrick Lamar, he'd be repetitive in his raps. Like, his, not, not his flow, his delivery be repetitive. So I don't be wanting to hear it. And then a lot of things he overcomplicates. Again, I've been said this before. You see so many hip-hop commentators saying this. I've been saying this, so you know I'm not just taking, I'm not just using other people's words. I'm not regurgitating anything. I've been saying this. I don't know. I can't what really listen. Right now. I, I, I really can't listen to them in my car. I, I, I like listening to music in my car. I like. You listening. like to turn up. Yes, I like music that I can turn up with. Nothing wrong. Yeah, with, and yeah, nothing, and, and it's nothing. It's nothing wrong with not so, turning up either, though. So, like, it's nothing. Right. And and but Kendrick so makes up. songs so, that could turn up, and he proved so that on not dropped, like us. Yes, he so when that. he dropped not like us, it made so me eat my words, and I was like, and it get like a little. So that's 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 bumping in your in your whip. I ain't gonna lie, yeah. Yeah, bro, I listen to it. Drake. Listen, listen, I can't listen. No cap. Listen, bro. I leave the uh I was at some event. I leave the event and I listen to it. First listen, I hit the chat like, nah, this is crazy. It's crazy. I'm like, bro, even though I'm not from the West Coast, it made me feel like I could be there. It made me feel like I wanted to be from there. Yeah. Like it made me feel like, bro, I know they turning up right now. Yeah. And that's a different type of feeling, bro. Like, so Drake. <sighs> I wish I wish he would have dropped the timestamp, and that's why I thought six sixteen was dope because I, bro, I've been saying all this, so I don't even care about the internet shit. I'm like, bro, I want to hear Drake rap. Like the only way he could come back on top of like Euphoria is if he come in rap. I don't want to hear the gimmicks. But so, he did. Yeah, but when I hear when I think about rap, maybe he should have mixed it up, like he should have split it up, like you said. So when I think about rap and Drake, I think about timestamp Drake. Right, so when when Kendrick Lamar dropped six sixteen, in my mind I thought it was genius because I'm like the only way Drake could win is if he dropped that little that timestamp flow. Kendrick Lamar come out before he even dropped, and I'm like, wow. And but even, that was done already. Like meet meet the meet the Grams was already yeah, done. Yeah, but, it, but like, it just per, so and another that's a that strategy. My, Let me tell you something. My, I ain't gonna point. lie, bro. That's my another Let point. me tell you something, bro. What I didn't, I said, I said Kendrick play, play in and the game. So when in my in my group chat. You know what I mean? We was talking about Kendrick like before he he responded with Euphoria. And I was like, yo, the only difference is with this is, is like, you know, Kendrick don't play the internet shit. He don't play the internet games. You feel me? And um we was we was all not debating, we all agreed, like, yo, but Kendrick played them internet games, bro. He played the internet and he used the internet very well because he got ahead of the narrative and he got ahead of the perception. And once he was able to 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 ground the perception of Drake potentially being a a pedophile or when he was able to ground of all of his homies being on a certain type of shit and then he was able to frequently drop that's when that's when he got him because as soon as family met we couldn't even digest family matters bro i was literally at a show i was literally mm-hmm. at the young gun show family matters came on man it was towards the end of the show i put my earpods on i listened to it i'm like oh no this is crazy i left we went to a spot Soon as I got to the spot somebody hit me on twitter like yo kendrick just dropped and it was meet the grand i was like what Mm. So he didn't even give enough, you know what I mean? He didn't even give enough room. And then when we're waiting, you know what I mean? And the next day comes, yo, I record my first episode of I Do It Myself, which is on my YouTube. Make sure y'all follow that, you know what I mean? Wayne no 119. And um, when I go there, bro, I'm like, what is going on? Bro, I'm I, I, I finish, I record, and all that. I'm like, yo, that was a good episode, you know what I mean? Maybe an hour later, bro, I go on the gram and I see... Not like us. I'm like, what the fuck? And then, and let me tell you this, bro. I'm going to tell you why everything panned out great for me. Because I went to listen to it. I said, nah, I'm not listening to this. I went downstairs, got on my Twitch. You know what I mean? Turned that joint on. 
I had about 30 people on there, and then I get a text from Ack. You know what I mean? And Ack is like, yo, Wayno, I'm trying to get you on stream. I'm like, I, right. I'm, I said, I'm on stream right now. We get on stream. Shout out to my bro, Academics, man. We got Turn on stream. I went from 700 followers on, on Twitch to... 1900 I might be at 2000 now turn it up in in in, a, in two days you feel me because so many people didn't know that I was still on my shit so but overall bro I feel like regardless to the win right the fans won hip hop won no but wait 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 that's not fast over that because I think again what time is it it's almost time oh my bad yeah I just I don't know I just I I feel like Kendrick Lamar delivery like his he had flawless execution so like even with like his Drake Drake was Drake was originally doing the internet games, and, and Kendrick he Lamar always has. and Kendrick Lamar kind of like waited. So for him to come out with the the songs back to back, even if it was already recorded, I just thought the way it was executed. You want host? I just felt like the way it was executed was just flawless. It was perfect, and and that's a part of it. But you said his raps was repetitive, and Euphoria. <laughs> not like us was different. No, bro. Not like I listen. I'm giving a man his props. You want me to? I, I can't. I ain't. I agree can't tell you everything. what to think. I can't because I don't agree with Meet the Gram. So I can't. I'm not telling you to agree with everything. I'm just saying like you, Euphoria is Euphoria is a great flawless record, man. It's flawless. It's and I feel the same way about um, Family Matters. Other than the fan, like them attacking, and I mean that's what Family Matters was meant to do: attack his family. But I felt like Family Matters is a flawless disc record. I think it's amazing. You feel me? And I feel like um, Euphoria is amazing. I feel like they they both hit the highest levels that they could possibly hit. You feel me? But um, listen, we got to do this again. Yeah, we do. You know what I mean? We got a little mom in the building. I got to run. I got some business to attend to. Thank you for rocking with me, bro. <laughs> she going crazy. Thank you for, for rocking with me, bro. I appreciate you. And, you know, yeah, catch man, you later. Yeah, we going to do this again. I know this is going crazy. It's all good. Right it's now. all good. <laughs> yeah, because I got one more clip I'm about to post bro, to him on clip, Twitter. Bro? Oh, I got another one. They gonna they gonna they gonna hate that one. Ooh, you you gonna hate that one. You I, listen. All I'm using is what you said. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you edited the clip and sent it to me, so he can't complain because he gave me the ammo right. to shoot himself with. Shut a right. bob over here. Don't you know what I mean? But peace. I catch y'all later. All right, man. All right.